Previously on A Playmobil Life, Rianne gets charmed by the new neighbor. Dibs. Carl and the girls cover up the murder of Gabby's stepfather. We are never going to be able to tell anyone. But then Bree receives a warning. When I was alive, me and Bree Santiago were the best of friends. Maybe that's because we had so much in common. Like Bree, I too strive to be a perfectionist. And I too ended up committing a desperate act of my own. But sadly, the guilt destroyed my family. I thought of telling my friends, but I didn't want to burden them. I knew that the only option was to move. Where I would perform one last act and conceal my events in history. But I forgot to tell my friends that history has a way of repeating itself. Hey, something interesting? Um, no, there's nothing to see here. This is just some stuff an old friend sent to me that I haven't spoken to in a while. Are you okay? I'm fine. I'm just annoyed that the mailman left Gabby's water bill in my mailbox again, so I have to go return it to her. Okay, well, um, I'm gonna head back inside. I'll see you in there. Yeah, I'll be there in a minute. scared me. Oh, sorry. What are you still doing up so late? God, when am I? A child? I'm allowed to be up past ten. Right. I'm sorry. Have you seen anyone drop off these packages at my front door? Why? What's the problem? Because I don't know who put these here, and I got a letter and I don't know what to make of it. Oh, come on, Bri. It's probably just the mailman going AWOL again on his delivery times. I should really talk to him about that. I'm getting sick of him delivering my mail at 1 a.m. It wasn't the mailman, Karen. This is serious. I need to know who put these packages here with all this stuff. Wow, you're quite shaken up by this. Yes, I am. This is quite upsetting and I don't know what I'm going to do. It's just a letter, Bree. Just let it go. Yes, we had similar lives. And Brie was now finding herself praying that we wouldn't have a similar fate. In the divided world of the suburbs, people are always looking for a way to connect. They fend off loneliness with casual conversation. They share old treasures with friends. They help a neighbor make a difficult move. But for Gabby and Carl Omado, the only connection that mattered was a romantic one. 
and Gabby was willing to pull out all the stocks to maintain it. Carl, get up. We are going out. Uh, I think I'll just stay on the couch for tonight. You told me we were going out tonight. Come on, the girls aren't home. It's just the two of us. Let's go grab something to eat. Uh, again, I think I'm good. We haven't gone out in the last month. All you've been doing is lying on the couch or lying upstairs. Well, maybe I do nothing because I killed someone. Are we still on this? Come on, it's been a month now since we buried him. <sighs> Ramon was still a man, Gabby. Still a person. <sighs> you know what? I can't do this right now. <sighs> we are not having this conversation again. I'll go grab something to eat by myself. I'll be back in a couple of hours. <sighs> Like Carl, Susan too was feeling disconnected. Her guilt had made the world a very scary place, where she could be exposed at any moment. <sighs> uh, I gotta get my keys. Where are my keys? Uh, well, maybe I left them in the other grocery bags in the trunk. Hey, you're not going anywhere. I know what you did. What? You thought you could get away with stealing a case of canned sodas? Oh, they were on the bottom of my cart. The cashier must have not seen them. Oh, I'm so sorry. Sure, that's what they all say. Ma'am, you're going to need to keep your hands where I can see them. What? Is everything all right over here? She stole a whole case of canned soda. I find that very hard to believe. Mrs. Smith has been going to this market for the last 10 years now. She hasn't stolen anything before. She pays for the grapes she eats in the produce section. And I find that very hard to believe. She is a criminal. <sighs> Mrs. Smith would never do anything bad. Sure I would. What? I did a horrible thing. I am a bad person. Okay? I need consequences. I stole this case of canned soda. Oh, Mrs. Smith, it's fine. Just pay for it the next time you come back in. What the heck is going on over there? I have no idea. No, no, you need to march me in there and make me pay for the soda. Mrs. Smith, it's fine, really. No, drag me in there and make me pay for it. And you can also take out your handcuffs because I am a criminal. <laughs> fine by me. I did the crime, now I'm doing the time. Hey, guess who's back? Uh, about time. I was wondering where you were. You're a half an hour late. Oh, sorry about that. Blame it on Olivia. She wanted to get a shake. Yeah, and it's filled with caffeine. <laughs> ah! No, I'm not gonna blame it on Olivia. And Did you say there's caffeine in there? You gave a six-year-old caffeine? Well, sorry, she wouldn't stop begging after the trampoline I bought her. You bought her a trampoline, too? Olivia, why don't you go upstairs and throw away that shake? Okay, I need to talk to your dad in private. Okay, maybe I can fly off the roof. Oh, my God. Charles, what were you thinking? First, you were late. Second, you, you bought her a shake full of caffeine. She's not going to go to bed tonight. And the trampoline? Charles, this has to stop. Okay, 
I know I shouldn't have showed up late, but Olivia wanted those things, so if I got them for her, it's not that big of a deal. Yes, it is. Because you're buying not just Olivia things that she doesn't need, but the whole family. Just a couple of days ago, you bought the boys a new video game station that they don't need. Oh, come on, they need something to do at college. Doesn't matter. Stop spoiling them. No. No. For years, I had to put up with this, but now I don't. So no, Sally. If I want to buy the kids something nice, then I will. You can't stop me anymore. Good night. Ugh. This is the beginning of the end. Everything has happened once before. I need to know who sent this letter. Not to mention... These packages. Proving that history is repeating itself. Hey, what's going on in here? Sounds like you were doing a little bit of detective work. Um, no. It's, uh, nothing at all. I was just, uh, thinking of what I wanted to have for lunch. Oh, well, um, do you want to grab something to eat? I would love to, but, uh, oh shoot, I have something else to do. <laughs> really? Like what? What? Unless it's a big secret that you don't want to tell me. Uh... Is it a big secret? Uh, Harrison! <laughs> I'm sorry. I just need to know that we're okay. Harrison, my feelings for you haven't changed. Just my schedule, okay? Okay. Good, because suspicion is great in police work. It's not so great in relationships. I should probably just head back to work, but um, I'll see you tonight, okay? Okay. Interesting. <laughs> what do you know about Ben? Oh my god. Rihanna, what are you doing inside my house? How'd you get in? The side door was unlocked, so I just thought I'd welcome myself in. <sighs> well, you almost gave me a heart attack. Sorry, it's just... I saw you talking to Ben, and I thought, oh, he's talked to him, so maybe he knows something about him. Well, I don't know him that well. He just asked me to come to his house tomorrow to fix his sink. That's all. So you know nothing about him? Well, I know he's got a jacked up sink. <laughs> oh, come on, Mike. Um, well... Let's see, um, I saw a box of Cheerios, and, uh, a coffee maker. He must like coffee. Unless that's for the guest. I got more from the cable guy that's death. Come on, Michael Smith, think! Fine, fine. When I was looking at a sink, I saw a plaque on one of his shelves. It was for volunteering at the elderly home. Something like that. He likes the elderly? Oh, well, I like the elderly. <laughs> Since when? 
Oh, well, I like their little wrinkly faces and the candy that they keep in their bags and those little tennis balls that they put on their walkers. Oh, it's so cute. <sighs> Thanks. Sure, and, uh, good luck. <laughs> Thank you. You know you can use the front door, and you owe me for almost giving me a heart attack. And so, I ended up going to the bar all alone for a good two hours because Carl wanted to lay on the couch and do nothing. Well, maybe he doesn't want to leave the house because of the stress he's under. We're all under stress. You know what's stressful? Not going out for the last month. Gabby, Carl is going through a lot right now. I know, it's just... Um... Our relationship, it's just, it's not good anymore. It's not as strong. And if I can't get him to leave the couch just to go to dinner with me, I'm worried what might happen to us. Mm, I get that. So, come on, girls. Tell me how I can fix my relationship with my husband. <laughs> Is this seriously happening? Gabby Omato is asking us for relationship tips? I know, it's the apocalypse. <laughs> well, you could always try something new. That always works. Yeah, try going somewhere different. <sighs> that gives me an idea. Do you really think that's gonna work? Why wouldn't it? Because I get where Carl is coming from. This kind of guilt can really mess with your head. Is there something you want to tell us? <sighs> okay. The other day, I accidentally stole a case of some cam soda, and um, the security guard caught me and started yelling at me, and at first I was like, no, no, but then I was like, yes, yes, uh, I deserve to be punished. It felt right to be publicly embarrassed. <laughs> and why is everyone staring at me? <laughs> because there's a bucket of crazy where your head used to be. Oh, so now I'm crazy. I thought I could talk about this stuff with you guys. And you can, but Susan, you cannot be drawing attention to yourself. It's too risky. Yeah, so knock it off and go get me some more coffee. Gabby, don't yell at Susan. What? She said that she likes to be yelled at. This is, uh, definitely interesting. You're the only one I could go to. You lived on that street way before I moved in. Do you remember this? Yeah, I, I do. I remember these things happening for the first time. I guess I just never connected the dots that it's happened again. Did you see the note? Yeah. Why would someone send you this? Doesn't make any sense. What do they mean by the beginning of the end? I don't know. Bree, I feel like you're not telling me something. No one would send these to you unless you were hiding something. Are you hiding something? No. Obviously, all this stuff was just some cruel prank. I just wanted to bring these in to see if it was actually true. <laughs> just tell the others. What? <sighs> if Mary Rose didn't keep the guilt inside of her, and if she told her friends, maybe she wouldn't have... Maybe she wouldn't have died. Don't make the same mistake she did. I think I should go, but uh, thanks for the information. 
Goodbye now. Look at me, throwing all my trash in the recycling. And look at me, not giving a crap. No, what? Well, it looks like I ate more than just one cookie. I ate them all. Oh, thank God, those were sitting there for two weeks. What? <sighs> <laughs> Look at me taking pictures with my camera, breaking the rules. That deserves punishment. Hey, do you mind taking a picture of me? I think I look really good today. Seriously? Hey guys, welcome home for the weekend. How was your week at college? It was good, but uh, Mom, me and Benjamin aren't staying at your house this weekend. We're going to Dad's. But you were at your Dad's last weekend. I haven't seen you for the last two weeks. We know, it's just Dad has a lot of cool stuff. He bought us a video game station for the dorm and his house, and he also bought us a slushy machine. He bought you a slushy machine? Yeah, and not to mention this big giant flat screen TV. What the heck? I wish he spent money like that when we were together. Don't worry, Mom. I'll stay here with you. Thank you, Mackenzie. Uh, Mackenzie, remember, Dad has that really nice mall across the street from his apartment. <sighs> okay, scratch that. I'm going to Dad's. Sorry, Mom. Let's go get our stuff. I'm coming too. Wow, love you too, guys. <sighs> okay, when Ben comes out, you're gonna act like you fell, I'm gonna come over, I'm gonna help you up, and we'll be all good, okay? One question. What? Am I still getting paid for this? Yes, you will get paid for this. Huh. <laughs> Another question. Why? I'm doing this because it will show Ben that I like the elderly, just like he does. I'm trying to make a connection with him. Find something that we both have in common. Okay. Oh look, there he is right now. Oh, okay, yeah. Uh, places, places. Uh, help me. I've fallen and I can't get up. Oh my god, Karen, let me come and save you. Oh, thank you. <laughs> of course, anything to help the elderly. <sighs> Can I have my money now? Wait until he leaves. About time. Is there a problem, officer? Yes. You're parking in a no parking zone. <sighs> Darn. I guess I am. Looks like I will be getting a pretty hard fine. Yeah. I should write you a ticket. Yeah, I guess you should. But, 
If you promise not to do it again, I'll leave you off with a warning. Uh, what? Why would you do that? Uh, I'm feeling extra nice today. What? No, 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 no. Do not play the good cop right now. Play the bad cop. Lady, I can't help it. I'm in a good mood today. No, why couldn't you wake up on the wrong side of the bed? Have a nice day, lady. No, wait. What do I have to do to get arrested? Lady, why do you want to get arrested? Because I am a bad person. I parked in the no parking zone. Lady, for the last time, life has been good to me. There's nothing you can do that's gonna make me arrest you. Oh yeah? Arrest me! Lady, you're insane! No, arrest me! Okay, fine. Ma'am, you are under arrest for assaulting a cop. You have the right to remain silent. <sighs> Finally. Hey, Rayanne. Ben! Oh my god! It's you! Oh, yeah. The last time I checked it was. <laughs> <laughs> Funny. So, uh... What brings you over here? Yeah, well, I saw you helping Karen up the other day, and I thought, well, she must like doing charity work. Yeah, I totally like doing charity work. <laughs> Good, because I was going to ask you if you want to go down to the elderly home with me next week and do some volunteering. You want me to go volunteer at an elderly home with you next week? <laughs> um, sure! <laughs> Great, see you then. <sighs> Why couldn't he just ask me on a date? Oh, hey Sally, what brings you in? Hi, I have a favor to ask of you guys. Oh, really? Like what? Well, as you probably know, me and Charles have separated. And lately, he's been on this splurge of spending money on the kids, so they like him better. Huh. Interesting. Yeah, and all the kids want to do is go to his house. I never see them anymore. So I was wondering if you guys could possibly um, call in Charles for the weekend? You want us to call Charles in? Yeah, just so I can see my kids again. Uh, I don't know, Sally. We don't typically do stuff like that. <sighs> you know, since me and Charles are separated now, I don't have to bring in treats. But, if you do this for me, I will continue to bring in treats. <sighs> okay, fine. We'll call in Charles. Just for you. <sighs> Thank you. I cannot believe that dad got called into work. Yeah, now we have to stay here for the weekend. God dang it. <laughs> Welcome home, kids. <laughs> Isn't this restaurant so nice? <laughs> yeah, so nice. <laughs> oh, come on, Carl. We're on the beach, by the ocean. Why can't you have a good time? <sighs> Fine. I'll try and have a nice time. Thank you. That's a much better attitude. Gabby. 
Did you notice that, uh, all the waitresses are kind of naked? Yeah, it's kind of weird, but, um, you know, we're on the beach. You know, it makes sense. It's hot outside. Hi, cutie. <laughs> Can I get your number? Um... <laughs> hey, 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 hey! Lady with a poor boob job. Get out of here. Fine. Guess you won't be getting any drinks. Uh, can you believe that? Uh, to think that she'd just walk right up here and start hitting on you. Yeah, that was weird. Hi. What will you be taking from the menu? Because I know what I will be taking, Mr. Handsome. <laughs> uh... Gabby? Uh, I got this. Stop talking to my husband that way, or else. <sighs> Lady, why are you even here then? Uh, again! What is with all these waitresses coming up to you and hitting on you? Oh, Gabby, look at the menu. Why? Gabby, on the bottom of the menu it says that this restaurant is only for singles. And the waitresses are strippers! Oh, it's a restaurant called Strippers and it's filled with strippers? You didn't think that a restaurant called Strippers wouldn't be filled with strippers? No. I didn't pay that much attention to what the stinking restaurant was called. Nor did I pay attention to the description. Hi, can I? I'm married! Carl, why did we have to leave so early? We didn't even get to have dessert. Gabby, why did you even do this? Why? Tell me, why did you take me to that place? I thought it would be good to try something new. I'm trying to get our relationship back to normal. It will never be normal, Gabby. Don't you understand that? Nothing... Nothing will ever be the same again. What I have done. The guilt that I feel is not something that you can wish away. It will be with me for the rest of my life. I wish I could help. I don't know what to do. There's nothing you can do. Charles, what are you doing here? One of my co-workers ratted you out, Sally. They told me that you came down to the station today, and you told them to call me in. Yeah, I did, and I had every right to. No, you didn't. It was unfair. No, it's not. Sally, you have no idea what this is like for me. I'm just trying to... Trying to make the best out of the little time I get with the kids. Well... You're succeeding. Because they would rather be with you than me. Part of me thinks... Great, they're okay with this. And then another part of me thinks, Oh crap, I'm losing them to you. So, you're trying to win too? No. The only way we're gonna get through this is if we stop playing games.
Carl, thanks for coming. I didn't want to call Mike, and I didn't want to upset the girls, so... Are you okay? They told me that you assaulted a motorcycle cop. Yeah. Yeah, I did. That doesn't sound like you, Susan. I've been in a weird place lately. I've been doing all these things, hoping to get caught. Does it help? For five minutes. And then I feel guilty again. I just, I don't know how to pull myself out of this. Yeah. Gabby keeps on pushing me to act like everything is normal. I guess we're just supposed to swallow everything and act like things are normal. But that's impossible. The girls are playing poker, drinking coffee, gossiping, acting like everything is normal when it's not. Yeah. But it is nice to talk to someone about this. Yeah, it is. Do you want to go get some coffee? Yeah, that sounds good. I don't get it. What's so intriguing about these newspapers? And where did you get these from? I didn't get them from anywhere, Gabby. I found them on my doorstep. With all of this stuff. Okay, so some mysterious person decided to drop off old newspapers at the front of your house? Gabby, just take a look at the newspapers. Fine. Okay, I'm seeing a news article on the tornado that happened on the street. I'm seeing the bombing that took place on the street, and I'm seeing the airplane crash and the riot. Okay, so what about them? It happened. It happened more than just once, Gabby. Check the dates. Okay, I'm seeing, uh... 1991? 1992? 1994? That doesn't make any sense. These all happened just a couple of years ago. Not 30 years ago. Gabby, everything that has happened to us in the last 10 years has happened before. History is repeating itself. Take a look at this note that was also there. Okay. This is the beginning of the end. Everything has happened once before? Oh my god. You're right. History is repeating itself. Think about it. Years and years ago, Mary Rose covered up a murder. Warren killed her abusive stepfather. Bree, come on. This is not funny. If history is repeating itself, that means that we could end up with the same fate as Mary Rose. We all could die. Potentially. God, I need a drink. We can't tell Sally or Susan. Susan's going insane with the guilt. And Sally's dealing enough with her marriage. Oh my god. What? And I just thought of something else. The person who sent these, they must know that we buried your stepfather. Or else they wouldn't have gotten any of this information. They wouldn't have sent this. Gabby, I think someone else knows what we did. Uh, okay. Let's just uh, stop talking about this. I think this is all I can handle for one day. 
In the meantime, I know what you can do. What? You need to get rid of Harrison. What? Come on, Bree. It's bad enough we have a mysterious person that knows what we did, telling us we're gonna die, okay? You dating Harrison is putting all of our lives at risk. Gabby, but... He makes me feel safe. You have guns to do that, Bree. Get rid of Harrison. Harrison? Oh, um, hey. Hi, I just came back from Gabby's. Oh, uh, well, I know I'm done with work today, and uh, I don't think you have anything going on tonight. So, uh, do you want to grab some dinner, maybe? A little night on the town? <laughs> I'll have to pass on that. I'm sorry. I have other things to get done. <sighs> okay. Bri, be honest. Are you about to break up with me? Um, no. Of course not. I love you. Okay. I love you too. <sighs> what am I gonna do? Yes, we're all looking to make a connection. Some seek to connect by focusing on a greater good. Others do it by faking the truth. And some by sharing a pain no one else can heal. Then there are those who have made a connection that they're now trying desperately to escape. <sighs>